fucking haul, bitch. Look, I haven't been on camera in a while where I could just sit back, relax, and talk to y'all. Y'all know with this whole pregnancy thing, it's been taking over my whole entire life, okay? And we have been trying to prepare to get ready for these babies. Yes, babies, if you guys are newer, I am having twins, just in case y'all don't already know, okay? If y'all want to see our whole entire pregnancy journey and everything that we've been doing for the twinsies, definitely make sure to check my check out my vlog channel. It is the Socialite Life TV. I'll put it right up and through here, and it's always linked in the description box down below as well. But your girl has been trying to get ready for these motherfucking babies, bitch. She about to be a mama, okay? And Juicy J's finna be a papa. We about to be first time parents. And we are ecstatic over the moon. It's just everything, okay? So far, I'm 23 weeks pregnant. And actually, tomorrow will be my official 23 week pregnant date, okay? And we're just getting closer and closer and closer to when the babies come. So I apologize that the frequency of uploads on this channel hasn't been my usual. Usually, it's like three, four times a week. And now motherfuckers one to two times a week, which I'm not used to, but I have to pretty much listen to my body, see what, you know, the babies want me to do because they run my world and they're going to continue to run my world for the rest of my motherfucking life, bitch. Okay. Um, that in addition to the fact that that might also explain the new do you see boo boo. Look, since I have become pregnant, your girl's been trying to experiment with all kinds of shit, namely her look. Okay. So y'all on the vlog channel that I'll change my wig every other segment or every week or whatever the case may be. I actually picked up a few new wigs. These are purchased by myself. By myself! Okay. And so I will be doing a video after this letting y'all know about the wig that I am rocking right now. Okay. So yeah, just thumbs up the video shit because a bitch is trying some new shit and please remember that this is just a wig. You can take this motherfucker off. So for those of you guys who don't like it, still give it a thumbs up anyway because a bitch can take this motherfucker fuck off okay anyway i just wanted to pop in i've got a small little miniature haul of some higher end a couple higher end products and some replenishments and a few other things and i also wanted to let you guys know of something that's pretty damn dope that's going on right the fuck right now you guys know i am a huge fan of ebates okay especially with these babies coming there is so much to take advantage of with ebates if you're not familiar the link for that is at the top of the description box okay it's basically just a website Website that's affiliated with pretty much every motherfucking stow on the planet Sephora, Neiman Marcus, Bath and Body Works, pretty much any store you could ever think of, okay? Whether it's a website or it is a website and it has a standalone stow, okay? They have affiliations with pretty much any store you could ever imagine, okay? Now, the really cool thing about Ebates is that every time you make a purchase using Ebates to buy things at Sephora, etc., etc., you get a certain percentage cash back. Literally, cash back, whatever that cash percentage is so let's just pretend that this particular time because right now they're doing triple cash back on Ebates okay and there's a whole bunch of stores participating but let's just say you want to get something high-end from Neiman Marcus which I actually have something here I'm gonna show you guys that I bought from Neiman Marcus let's just say you want to do that the 23rd is when it started till the 29th of August you'll be able to pretty much get 12% cash back on anything that you purchase from Neiman Marcus if it's any of the stores that are doing triple cash back you will get that percentage or whatever percentage that store offers on Ebates back on your card your PayPal or wherever you designate also by getting on that link down below and signing up for an Ebates account you get a free $10 gift card to use okay so you know I like to give you a couple give backs and shit and that's my way of giving back to y'all so I wanted to let you guys know the triple cash back that's going on with Ebates that right now is going on to the 29th one two I will leave the list of the stoves that are participating in said thing down in the description box down below there are always double cash back offers there's so many things going on I just picked up some things from Sephora because they were doing double cash back so in addition to anything I got off of whatever I purchased at Sephora they also gave me an additional 8% cash back okay on my PayPal account, which is where I buy my shit, okay? So please believe you want to take full on advantage of Ebates and get your free $10 gift card by signing up using the link down below. So I had to make sure that I popped in and let y'all know that. In addition to the fact that I wanted to show y'all some of the things that I've just recently picked up from some of the stoves that are featured on Ebates as well, okay? Let's see what we can do here. And uh, if you guys want to know what I'm wearing on my face and all of that shit, that will also be linked down below as well. Anything, the foundation, the powder, the lippy, all of that shit, okay? And like I said, stay tuned. There will be a video coming soon with all of this very inexpensive as fuck ass with glory, okay? All right, let us 
see. You know what? Let's go ahead and go. Uh, let's talk about the couple of things I got from Bath and Body Works. Like I said, like I said this is just a way for me to come in, say what's up to y'all, let y'all know about the sale. Holla at y'all since I haven't had a sit down with y'all where I could just talk to y'all, shoot the shit and shit. And so this is a very, very small haul, okay? First of all, I had to go to Bath and Body Works. Y'all know Juice and I are obsessed with that still, okay? For those of you guys who follow me on the vlog channel, y'all know the deal. I had to pick up a couple of things. First and foremost, I had to pick up my favorite scent, okay? Now, if you guys know and have followed me for a while, one of my all-time favorite scents is Moonlight Path, okay? So... I had to replenish my Moonlight Path perfume, okay, and if you guys haven't tried it out, it's just the most, just very soft scented perfume on the planet. It's not overpowering. I don't like a lot of overpowering perfume or cologne type scents, so um, I prefer cologne-ish type scents. When I say that, I mean I don't like anything super, super fruity or super, super rosy. I just, I like the in-between. Very soft, very sensual, and Moonlight Path is that, okay? Now, y'all know Bath & Body Works is also on Ebates, so I went and got my, uh, of course, my Moonlight Path perfume, which I don't have right here on the table because, look, a bitch is pregnant and I had to get around all these tables with this damn belly, okay? But I did also get some more of my hand creams. You guys know I wash my hands a whole hell of a lot because I'm a germaphobe like a motherfucker. And so I had to get a whole bunch of these. So I have like three or four of these over here on my right side of my Moonlight Path. If you guys haven't tried Moonlight Path, oh my god, even in candle form and any of the scent form, it's fucking bananas. You feel me? Okay. So, we go ahead. Oh. Okay, another thing that I discovered, which I believe is newer, but you guys are, I mean, you guys know I'm obsessed with the three-week candles, and as we head into the fall and the winter, you're going to see a lot of uh, these motherfuckers in my house and in these videos as I haul them for y'all, okay? But this is kind of a newer scent for me. I don't know if it's new. I think it is new, but the thing I love about it, it's got a rose gold top. I thought it was adorable. This one is Black Cherry Merlot of the three-week candles, okay? Oh my god, it's fucking amazing. I just love very soft, sensual scents. This has a little bit of fruit to it, but it's not overpowering. You guys know I don't like that. Oh my god, bitch. It's fucking everything under the sun. And it smells so good when you burn it. It's just one of those things that you can kind of just, just burn. I don't like a lot of very... Um, strong scents uh, since becoming pregnant too. So I really am careful about very strong overpowering scents. This is one of those things that you can just burn and just let burn for hours and it's just sexy and it just smells fucking amazing. So anyway, if you guys have a chance, go smell it in the stove. I promise y'all, y'all will not be sorry. We ain't gonna throw that motherfucker because it's glass. And of course, I had to replenish my favorite motherfucking candle. Y'all know which candle this is and it's my Dick in the box. Hey, y'all haven't heard me do that shit in a while, bitch. My mahogany motherfucking teak wood. Bitch, if you haven't smelled this motherfucking candle yet, bitch. I don't know what the fuck you've been doing your entire life, okay? This is kind of what it looks like. It looks different whether you get it online or in the stove. Either way, you want to get it online because you can use Ebates to get money back. <laughs> single looking bitches married in the motherfucker and I still got my dick in the box okay so don't think that just because you know you married or whatever you can't have your dick in the box you can have that honey boo boo it's right here okay y'all didn't know it was available at Bath and Body Works <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy Jesus y'all trust me when I say it is the most amazing scent ever in life okay okay let's see let's see let's see we're gonna go to Sephora next okay now, I have been raving about these products, and I had to go in and replenish my stash. I've been using these products for a very long while, actually, over, probably over two months now. It's been a while since I've done a monthly faves and all helps and all. Yes, I know I owe that to y'all. I promise y'all on everything I love, y'all know I got a lot that I love right now, because you know I got these twinsies, too. I promise y'all, it is coming up this month, because I have so many things that I've been trying out that I need to show y'all. But just to give you guys a heads up about these particular facial products I've been using that have been amazing amazing for my skin for my hyperpigmentation which I know you guys are always like bitch where the fuck is your hyperpigmentation a lot of y'all on the vlog channel see it though every single day because the camera I use is different than the camera I use here on this channel but trust and believe your girl has hyperpigmentation I will explain to you how I got it because that's a whole nother issue later on okay probably after the twinsies come okay 
But stay tuned for that shit. It's coming, I promise. But one of the things that I really wanted to make it a point to work on was my skin because unlike a lot of, a lot of other people who say pregnancy, you know, makes your skin so much better and buttery soft and smooth and shit, bitch. Pregnancy broke my motherfucking ass out, okay? So... I told myself throughout this pregnancy, since there's not much else I can control, I can't control how big my titties get, I can't control how big my belly gets, my ass gets, my legs, thighs, and all that other motherfucking shit gets, that I might as well go ahead and really focus even more on my skin. You guys know I'm huge on skincare. So I had to replenish these three products and they have been absolutely amazing in combination for my hyperpigmentation, lightening up my skin. I don't mean lightening as in I want my face to look like Lil' Kim and shit, bitch, okay? I'm talking about just kind of evening out my skin tone where the hyperpigmentation is. If you're not familiar with hyperpigmentation, if I remember, I'll put a description of what it is down below, but it's kind of where you're darker, okay? Your skin gets darker, if you're whether you're scarred, acne scarred, you've been burned, whatever the case may be, or you just happen to have hyperpigmentation on your skin, okay? So one of the first things that I have to absolutely make mention of is this motherfucker right here. Boom. It is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Cleanser Daily Foaming Wash. Bitch! This is fucking phenomenal, okay? And this is my second box. It's not the cheapest thing in the world. Any and all links for everything that I mention, I will leave down in the description box down below so you guys can have access to them because the uh, Kate Somerville collection has a shit ton of products along with a lot of other products that I'm about to show you here today. So I will leave all the links for all the things I mentioned in this video in the description box so y'all can check it out and have the direct link for that particular product. But... This particular cleanser has been fucking phenomenal. The one thing I should let you guys know, if you guys ever try this product out, number one, it sells out very quickly at Sephora. You'll always hear them say, damn, you're lucky you got your hands on this. That's exactly what they said to me when I got this. So if you have the opportunity to try it out, um, I would most definitely get your hands on ASAP Rocky, okay? The thing I love about it is it's super, super gentle. I have very sensitive skin, okay? It's an exfoliant type of cleanser, but it's not harsh. So for those of you guys who can't take the harsh abrasive exfoli exfoli exfoliating products, this you will not be able to tell is exfoliating, but it is. It's absolutely exfoliating, and it doesn't set up on your face like other soaps do. So don't be alarmed if it's not all of a sudden just foam, foam, foam malicious on your face, okay, bitch? Just know that it's working, okay? And if you have hyperpigmentation on your face, this is amazing. It has a lot of natural things in it as well. It is amazing. And like I said, it does not stay in Sephora very long. So if you get your hands on it, I would do it if you can, okay? Another thing that I have been using, so that's the cleanser that I've been using, and I use that twice a day, okay? So it is very, very gentle, and it's gentle enough to use that often. The other thing that I have been using has been my Murad Essential C Toner. It replenishes moisture and restores suppleness, delivers antioxidants to fight free radicals, okay? Love this product as well. It has been amazing for me as well. I, You barely need a little bit. I literally missed it on my face, and that's it. I love it because it's a vitamin C type toner. Very gentle on the skin. I'm also sensitive to toning type products because uh, some can be very abrasive and very strong on your face. I can't handle that, so this has been great for me. And one of the most important parts of these three that I'm about to show you, and this being the third and last and probably the most important one besides the exfoliate, is the Dr. Andrew Wheel, I want to say is how you pronounce it, for Origins Mega Bright Dark Spot Correcting Serum. This right here, okay, one, it's not cheap. I'm not going to lie to you and say that these motherfuckers are cheap but this motherfucker has been amazing for lip lifting my hyperpigmentation for evening out my skin tone because there's certain portions of my face where something happened to my face I'll tell you guys about that later on why and why I have the hyperpigmentation and that has helped with evening out my skin so fucking much with it okay so again these three products bitch have been fucking amaze balls, bitch. Okay, a couple other things that I got from Sephora is this right here. Bam, okay. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube. This is the uh, Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Boom, I got it in the color. Let's see if it has the color chestnut. Okay, boom. That's what it looks like. It looks like a, just a really pretty little stick foundation okay and <laughs> y'all know i love the tip boom that's the tip you know it's just nice anyway 
So yeah, so that's what it looks like. I won't swatch it on me because I have not done a first impressions on it. And you guys know my first impressions, I like to keep them as raw and real as possible. I don't want to try or see anything before I try them out. So if you guys want me to do a review on this, because I know there's several people that have already done this, please hit the thumbs up button and comment down below and let your girl know that you guys want me to do this review because I've been hearing so many great things about this. And bitch, you know, I'm the first motherfucker to pretty much try a product that gets a lot of hype. You know, and most of the time I discover it's bullshit. So we gonna see cause motherfuckers got this shit for free too and I bought this with my own coin. Y'all know everything I buy with my own coin for the most part. Motherfuckers be scared of my ass. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All right, next up is Urban Decay, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of Urban Decay products. The first item that I actually picked up is the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. This is another brand spanking new product. I have done a first impressions video on this already. If you guys want to check that out, I will leave that link down below or annotate it up on the screen so y'all can check it out, okay? But I did do a first impressions full demo on this motherfucker and wore this motherfucker all day so y'all can hear about this shit because this is another product that got and is getting a whole hell of a lot of hype on YouTube. So you definitely want to check this out. It is a $40 foundation. You definitely want to make sure to check it out before you spend your hard earned coin on this motherfucker, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Um, the other things from Urban Decay, and these are the last few products from Sephora that I got. You guys know I had to get some of the Vice lipsticks. This is the funniest thing ever. I find it incredible that Urban Decay actually have these Vice lipsticks and have over a hundred damn colors of these damn lipsticks, okay? And of course some lipsticks are more exclusive to certain stores or whatever. They have six finishes for each of these Vice lipsticks, okay? We'll leave a link for some of these down below and you'll see just how many different colors and different finishes there are for these lipsticks, which I think is absolutely amazing. I've been hearing so much about these lippies that I had to get my hands on them. One of which I actually showed you guys, which is Shame, and it's a cream of the finishes. It's the cream finish for these Vice lipsticks, and I showed it to you guys in my all-nighter video. So, let me go ahead and show you guys that one right there. Really close to what I'm wearing right now, kind of a nice berry shade. And uh, anyway, if you guys want me to do a swatch video on the ones that I did get, I will definitely do that because I don't want to make this video uber long. Y'all know I'll be talking y'all's ass off. The last and final thing is an oldie but goodie from Urban Decay. My absolute favorite all time eyeliner, and I've tried some new ones out that I'll be telling you guys about in my monthly faves and I'll help to the nose about how, I mean, not say what, let me not say y'all about that. Let me just keep that for that video, but I cannot get away from these and these three colors specifically, okay? And the box looks like this. This is basically the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. You guys know I'm in love with these, okay? And I get them in the brightest of shades. They have the most amazing pigmentation and longevity on the planet. It doesn't take much to really get a good swatch. Look at that fucking color. That color is called Electric. The gold is just fucking everything. This one's gold mine. I don't even have to do much. I'm literally just lightly tapping. Look how, boom. And you guys have seen me wear these in videos lately on my vlog channel, on my Instagram, and have been asking what I've been using on my eyes. This one right here, which I haven't opened yet, is called Chaos. This one right here is fucking gorgeous. I don't know if I'm able to get it open for y'all right this minute. I did. Okay. Y'all know I love my blues, okay, when it comes to eyeliners. And I haven't even used it yet, but bitch, 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 bitch. That top, bitch. Okay. They are beautiful, they are long wearing, they are comfortable on the eyes, which is very important because you guys know I have sensitive skin and I also have very sensitive eyes, generally speaking. You don't want something that's impossible to coat your eye with, okay? And for those of you guys that are novices like I am, makeup wise, you guys know you want it to be nice and creamy so it's not too hard to apply, you know what I'm saying? All right, so second to last but not least, I had to make sure that I popped in and reminded y'all about one of the best things ever since sliced bread and that would be motherfucking scent bird bitch you guys know i am a huge fan of scent bird if you're not familiar let me get y'all motherfuckers familiar first and foremost it's basically a monthly subscription service that you can cancel at any time okay so i don't want y'all to think you have to be obligated to it super cheap you'll basically get a 30-day supply of perfume literally in a in a nice canister okay just like this very 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 portable 30-day supply of whatever perfume all high-end and all authentic for $14.99 95 okay now y'all know the deal because I never give y'all full price on anything I have a coupon code down below 
to get yourself started with Scentbird and get your first one for I think 25% off just so y'all can check out how fucking amazing this shit is, okay? But it basically is just a, a monthly subscription service where you can get authentic high-end perfumes, all authentic. You go on there, fill out a quiz, basically letting them know what kind of perfumes you love. And then from there, you determine whether you like rosy smelling, fruit smelling, cologne smelling, that type of thing. Colognes, perfumes, whatever. There's also a men's scent bird as well. So men can get their colognes. Juice is also a member of scent bird as well. So we both get our own scent bird packages in the mail, okay? I have been a very long time subscriber to Scentbird, literally. I get these sent to my house and have been for over a year now. So you guys know, the shit is real. I ain't making this shit up. The cologne perfume, I keep wanting to say the cologne. But the perfume that I'm loving right now, like you guys know I love Gucci Guilty, okay? The one I'm loving right now is Gucci Premier, okay? So basically, it'll come in a container like this. There are containers that are multicolored, pinks and grays and beautiful blues and as they get into the holidays you'll see a lot more of that. But I wanted something relatively simple look and look how easy that is, okay? What I do is I throw these motherfuckers in my purse, my gym bag or whatever the case and these are fucking amazing these last 30 days plus. I usually make these last well over 30 days plus, okay? And the cool thing is, is that every month you can try a completely different perfume out. The cool thing about that is, is you pretty much can figure out from here, okay, if you want to buy the motherfucker in a larger bottle or not. So something like this, which is one of my favorite perfumes on the planet is Dolce & Gabbana in the red bottle, okay? I love this one, but these can cost anywhere from $75 to $110 for this bottle. And if it's something that ends up not working well with your body chemistry or whatever, why spend the hard-earned coin, right? So what I would rather do is test it out using Scentbird, which is how I found a lot of my scents, which is how Juice has found a lot of his colognes that he enjoys. Um, one of his favorites is Lacoste and he didn't even realize that it was something that he would like until he had a Scentbird membership, okay? So it's great. It's a great way to give um, a gift to somebody um, because it's so super duper inexpensive. And like I said, I have a coupon code and a link down below that will give you a discount when you try this out, okay? And like I said, you can cancel it anytime. So I advise y'all to try it out. $14.95, but it's gonna be even cheaper for y'all because of the coupon code that I have down below for y'all. And like I said, cancel, skip, any motherfucking time, super portable. This perfume is, oh my God, is everything, <laughs> it's everything. And like I said, incredibly amazing, incredibly portable and super authentic, okay? Last but not least is my Neiman Marcus purchase, okay? And they're doing 12% triple cash back right now, okay? There's a whole bunch of other stores like Nasty Gal, which I absolutely love. They're doing 12% cash back right now up until the 29th of August, okay? So we got our Neiman Marcus bag. You can also arrange for a lot of some of these stores to actually um, buy these things online through eBay. Take advantage of the cash back and go pick them up in your local store. So that's what I did for Neiman Marcus. And the one thing that I ended up getting, because you guys know I don't do, I do high-end foundations here, but I've never gone this high end here on the channel so let me know down below if you guys want me to do a review on this foundation and that would be the Chanel Le Teint Fluid for Perfection Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation okay and this is like I said by Chanel all right not the cheapest thing in the motherfucking world this is a $60 foundation okay I got it in the colored chocolat okay and here is what it looks like in its container boom okay so I wanted to try something higher end. There's another one that I want to try as well, and I'll let you guys know when I get my hands on that. They didn't have my shade, which is why I didn't get it, but that will be coming very, very soon. So if you guys want me to do a first impressions review on this Chanel foundation, I'm more than happy to do it. If not, I'm going to try it out on my own and let y'all know. Just let me know how you'd rather see it. Y'all know the deal. Comment down below and all of that good shit. But y'all, that's pretty much all from a damn video. Look, I done already took up all the motherfucking time in the world for this motherfucker, but... I had to come in, let you guys know about Ebates. Don't forget to make sure you check out Ebates down below. Get yourself a free $10 gift card to use towards a future purchase, in addition to the fact that it's triple cash back right now. I'll leave everything down in the description box, all the links for everything that I mentioned down below. And you guys already know, we got more videos coming your way, and stay tuned for the video on this lovely, very inexpensive as fuck ass wig, okay, that I'm having fun with today. And you already know what to do as always. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash social life sandy hit me up on my facebook fan page and my pinterest page those links are down below hit me up on my blog the socialitelife.com and hit me up on instagram periscope and snapchat at socialitesandy s-a-n-d-e and you already know i love you
love y'all and i will see y'all in the next video love y'all bye